<laughs> I'm too young to be feeling that in my voice. Nah, but real quick, before we get into anything for today's video, I got something to show y'all. Whoa. Your boy Rochi, your boy Real Easy came to join. Hold up. <sighs> oh my lord. Now I've had this for about probably about two weeks and I I've, haven't shown y'all. Y'all probably seen it on my social media, but y'all over here on YouTube, go follow me. Y'all over here naked. Today we got another scary animations reaction number 11 we getting golden baby yeah. now really um we do like three animations but i've been looking at some short ones so low-key <laughs> we might throw in a couple for y'all because i want these to be longer get your popcorn get, get it on your tv even if you don't watch the whole video leave it on so you get that watch time up <laughs> all right for the first animation oh boy i should have brought a snack up in here today we have an animation that's called i met a crazy girlfriend in the game world now i think i've had this in a lot of games where i've had girlfriends in games we ain't gonna talk about it bro <laughs> cringe Come on, I already said the intro, bro. I really like playing video games. <laughs> I really love playing video games. <sighs> bro, <laughs> I'm already started out, bro. Just watch the animation. I really like playing video games. Three years ago, I forgot about reality and lived in the game world. I wanted to go inside, decorating my character and thinking of it as me. Who's that? I was obsessed with the world and the people I met in the game. Want the entertainment? But the truth is, I just wanted to escape reality. I didn't come out for a year, just played video games in my room. I was the perfect social misfit. Tons of trash was piled. Oh, love. Bro, if I was the parent, bro, I would have had to tell him something, bro. Cause ain't no way I'm finna let your room, room build up where you could barely step. Cause for sure, I definitely had that stage where, you know, GTA, Fortnite, 2K, what's another game? That's just games that I could think of on top of my head, like DS2, yeah, yeah, DS, mm-hmm. But buddy got like, you see some, uh, those some Astros right there, some Astro headphones. Um, I think I seen two Astro headphones, hold up. I was the perfect social misfit. Yup, got two Astro headphones. Tons of trash was piling up on my desk and in my room. Well, you better open that Even door. If I knew my mother was crying, I didn't go out. One day, what are you tripping? I made a friend in the game. She could be getting she body. She seemed like a really sweet person. She bought me a nice item and understood me more than anyone else. It was the first time I met someone who was so nice to me. We quickly became close. That could be a whole dude. Our relationship actually became more than friends. We spent all day together in the game, and she became my first girlfriend in my entire life. Bro, I really oh loved my her. gosh. Even though we hadn't actually met, I was happy. Then one day, Yo. she started attacking my character. I asked her why, but she didn't answer. She just kept attacking me. Another day, Yo, I got a phone call. Yo, your character is trash. She said, but it's impossible in real life. So I want to at least feel it in the gaming world. Now I'm going to attack your character. Scream for me so I can feel like I'm really attacking you. <laughs> Pause. She attacking oh my lord. Laughed frantically. I hung up the phone and couldn't get out of the shop. Bro, wasn't that I kept getting calls like an RPG? Her, didn't answer them. I then got a text message from her. That was an RPG. If you love me, die for me. I started to get scared of her, but I already liked her so much back then. I wanted to give her everything she wanted. The next day, she suddenly made a video call to me. Even though I had seen her picture before, she was even prettier on video. Compared to her, Bro, I was shabby. Thirsty. I was so embarrassed, but I didn't want to miss her. I wanted to be nice to her. Then, she suddenly told me to pick up a kitchen knife. Stab your belly when I attack your character. She said. Stab your belly button. I know. I thought it was ridiculous, but I said yes. I didn't want to disappoint her. 
I brought a small knife to the computer. I could see her eyes glittering. Just then, she attacked my character. She told me to stab myself in the stomach at the moment. Whoa. My hand huh? would move. In great fear, my body wouldn't allow me to do such a thing. My body was shaking hard. If she would have told me to do that, you know what I would have did? What's up, Gary? <laughs> you said stab myself in the stomach? You know I ain't doing that, man. <laughs> Show me that booty. No. My body was shaking hard and I began to sweat. I thought what I was doing was crazy, but I was out of my mind. You think? I could hear her over the phone shouting and cursing. Did you do it? No. Look at his body. Why? I said in tears on the spot. I can't. I can't do it. She kept saying. Do it for me, baby. This is every you emotional enemy. And this is what will make me happy. Just close your eyes and do it. Brainwash. And let me hear your painful groans. I tried again but failed. No matter how much I loved her, I couldn't do this. She started to curse at me again. You do not love her, bro. We ended up arguing for hours on end. My body hours? was all sweaty, and she said she wouldn't see me again if I didn't do it. Okay, I've never I even seen about hanging up the phone and breaking it off with her, but I was also afraid I would never see her again. After a few attempts, I stabbed myself with a kitchen knife when her character attacked me. <clears throat> a dizzying pain surged, and just then, I heard her laugh. You finally did it! <laughs> Why are you a little bit louder than every Watching other? Watching me clench my stomach in pain, she laughed madly. I felt blood flowing down from my belly and my vision getting fuzzy. Your mom don't but hear she that? She smiled at the sight of me like that. <laughs> I'm so excited! This is thrilling! She hung up the call as I lost consciousness. When ah. I opened my eyes again, I was lying in the hospital with my mother crying next to me. I finally came to my senses when I saw her tears. I did something really, really stupid. Fortunately, I didn't stab myself that deeply and was able to leave the hospital shortly after. As Bro, expected, there was no contact crazy. from her after. And after that day, I never contacted her again. That's how I got over the hard times and got back to my daily life. I'm living a normal social life now. I learned a lot from that terrible experience. I don't think you have. Humans are weak beings. You saying that? Psychology is weaker Bro. than we think. And sometimes you can't think normally because you're being psychologically manipulated by someone else. Bro, look at her I face. Just hope there are no victims like me again. Oh, that's somebody different. Oh my god. Wancy, what's up with your picture, bro? <laughs> bro, if I was that parent, bro, I would have heard that, bro. I would have heard her on the phone talking about some stab yourself. Like, I want to hear them painful groan. Nah, I would have definitely went in the room and smacked him. Okay, for the second one that we have for today, it is three true Burger King horror stories animated. And you already know we're not watching all freaking three of them. <laughs> Let me stop. This happened to me recently, Bro. and I don't think I can work in a drive through again. I just moved out and got a job at Burger King. I always worked the night shift, as it had less customers, hence less trouble. My apartment was a five minute walk from my workplace, so I had no issue getting home late. Okay. Overall, it was an ideal job for me to begin with. At least, that's what I thought. It was a boring Monday night and I was sitting by the counter watching YouTube videos when I heard a car pull into the drive-thru. I quickly put my phone aside and waited for the customer to drive uh. up. As soon as the car approached the window, I said in a fake, joyful voice, Welcome to Burger King. May I take your order? Yeah. We're hungry. Don't even say what you're about to say, my guy. 
you're not even considered my guy if you you look like this buddy looking like hitman after he retired and i know you ain't pull up to <laughs> burger king with a whole hawaiian shirt we are not in hawaii my guy we are not in the tropical islands Bruh, look at this dude <laughs> Wait till you see the. F <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, look at the top of his head. <laughs> look at his lips. I know this dude ain't come up to the drive thru without his order. So you just skipped the whole, like order and just came up to the front thinking bro <laughs> this is not mcdonald's you can't just do whatever you want welcome to burger king may i take your order why you sound like yeah, you're through the mcdonald's mic hungry. look at his teeth i saw a man wearing a vibrant colored hawaiian t-shirt sitting in the driver's seat we already know he had a disturbing stare but that's not the only thing that was weird about him he had a skeleton dressed up as a woman in his passenger seat i couldn't decide whether it was creepy or funny but I took the high road and let it slide. May I take your order, sir? A whopper for me. Nah, nah. And what will you have, darling? <laughs> now Bro. the situation took a creepy turn. No. The man kept talking to the skeleton as if it was a real woman. He was smiling and laughing and whispering mm, into it. Please ear, don't smile. Which it obviously didn't have. Uh. He went on with his insanity for another five minutes, and I still. Five minutes. You got me bent. I'm gonna slowly close that window. He went on with his insanity for another five minutes, and I still patiently waited because that's what was expected of me in this job. Nah. Okay, so a Whopper for me, and she'll have a cheeseburger. Um, sure, sir. Which number? I handed him the order along with the receipt. No. And he paid in cash. 50. Seeing his behavior, I could tell he thought the skeleton was a real person. He slowly drove away Dang. and I sat by the window like a statue for at least <laughs> half an hour. It took me some time to digest what just happened to me. Half an hour, bro. After that night, this man became a regular customer. Almost every other night, he came to our store dressed in the same manner with his skeleton girlfriend and ordered the same food. But he at just like point, Quagmire. I too got used to it. I'm the person who loves minding her own business, so I never bothered to ask. <laughs> I just did my job and he went on his way. One night it was raining heavily and I was waiting for my shift to end so that I could go home. Let me Suddenly, I saw the man pulling into the drive-thru. He ordered the usual and started talking to his skeleton girlfriend. Meanwhile, I found out that we were running short on cheese, so it won't be possible to make a cheeseburger for his skeleton girlfriend tonight. Bro. Um, sir? I apologize, but we're running a little short on cheese. Can we substitute it with something else? I would've been like, huh? No, but Jenny loves cheese. This is her favorite. I understand that, but as I said, we are short on cheese. The triple Whopper is the same price. How about that? But Jenny doesn't want that. She wants her usual cheeseburger. I was being doesn't polite that have to cheese? this freak the whole time. But when he screamed at me, I lost my calm. Well, why don't you take Jenny where she belongs? Like, a graveyard? The man widened his eyes and stared at me with an intense gaze. I expected him to be angry at this point. He looked at his surprisingly, eyes. Surprisingly, he didn't get angry. Instead, a creepy grin appeared on his face. Oh, I can see what's going on here. You're jealous. Jenny, she is jealous. Isn't that sweet? She's crushing on you, bae. <laughs> what the hell? Look, you freak. That is nothing but a skeleton, and no one is crushing on you. The truth is, you know you can't even get a real girlfriend. Hmm. Maybe that's why you're putting on this freak show. Hmm. As soon as I said that, I saw the color of his face change. He didn't say a single Yo. word and drove Look away at the road. silently. Stop looking at a me. A week passed by, and he was nowhere to be seen. Even though I felt bad for being rude to a customer. He did get on my nerves that night, hence he gave me no choice. But after some time, he showed up again. This time, he didn't have the skeleton in his car. He came alone. I wanted to stay away from any kind of trouble, so I behaved professionally. Your order, sir? A whopper for me. 
I delivered him the food and he handed me the money. 54 thought, Whopper? Thank God it's over. Bro, stop looking at me. Things took a turn as he took a U-turn and parked his car right across the street. Bro, what's I'm here. I'm looking too. What's up? Buddy really he staring. He took a U-turn and parked his car right Bro, across the street. What's up? He then sat on the hood of his car and started eating his burger while staring directly at me. Close the window. The mail was dripping from one side and the ketchup was all over his mouth like blood. He was licking the mayo off his hand without breaking eye contact with me. <laughs> Bro, why she sitting like that? Ooh! Oh my god! He was licking the mayo off his hand without breaking eye contact with me. He ate the entire burger like this, and then drove away. I mean, I no. can't explain this obscene behavior. But all I can say is, that night after going home, I took a long bath. I've never felt this disgusted ever in my life. The next day, I informed my boss about this man, because this was getting too much for me to take. He told me to call 911 immediately if I see him again. He also informed the other day shift workers about this guy. Can I Everyone get some more workers with me? For him to come and get arrested by the cops for charges of harassment. But again, he didn't show up for weeks. Even though everyone told me this man was just a crazy freak and that he's gone, I knew, I knew he would come again. And he didn't prove me wrong. It was around midnight. I was packing Ooh. my stuff Is that a early that day. Is that a I already informed my boss about this when suddenly I heard car tires creaking in the near distance. It took me a fraction of a second to recognize the car. Bro, she sound she yeah. looks so slow. The odd customer. I dialed 911 right away and waited for him to approach me. As soon as he stopped near the window, I noticed something different this time. A girl was sitting next to him, and by a girl, I mean an actual person. I could tell she was heavily drunk. I could smell the strong odor of alcohol coming from her clothes. She was completely passed out in the passenger seat, and a terrifying feeling grabbed my heart. I knew this man must have lured her into his trap, because there's no way a sensible person would ever agree to hang out with this freak. He gave me a death-cold stare, and smiled in the scariest Why way you got possible. Like 50 teeth. That's my girlfriend, and she is real. I can prove that to you. Before I could act on this manner, he took out a wrench from the car's glove compartment and stared at me one last time. See for yourself. Here we go. He then started to bludgeon the girl ruthlessly. What the heck, she's bro? Real, she's real. She's real. He kept screaming like a psycho. You don't gotta prove that to me. Face with the wrench. Her body started to tremble like roadkill, but due to her stage of intoxication. She couldn't get the chance to scream once. Call the cops. I froze at the window. I couldn't believe what was happening in front of my eyes. The man kept beating God. her, even after her brains came out, gushing with blood splattering Yo, everywhere. This I told dude you tripping. she's real. Now do you believe me? Do you? You ho? I heard the sirens of the cop cars nearby. But I couldn't bear the sight anymore. Bro. I collapsed on the ground, screaming out loud. Oh my god. Two days gosh. later, I woke up in the hospital. My boss came to see me. He told me that the cops caught the man red handed. There's no. Look me in my face. I need five honey right here. I passed out. I was pretty much assaulted. Bro. <laughs> I would have peed my pants just for the extra check. Because, sir, you're getting sued. There's no question he's guilty of first-degree murder. The girl he murdered that night went to the local pub. He probably picked her up once she passed out oh my gosh. and brought her to the drive-thru. The cops are making sure that this psycho gets what he deserves. I don't think I'll ever be able to erase that night from my mind. Is it my fault that the girl lost her life? Did I provoke the creep to do this? What do you think? People with ADHD save 10 hours studying with this Chrome extension. But no, by all means- But no, we're not watching this ad. Skip the ad, save a few seconds, yes I do. Bro, any job never work the night shift.
the next, the third, and the next, and the third animation for today is these jokes are impractical by Meat Canyon. And you know Meat Canyon. We just jump straight into it like no discussion. Horror. And I'm pretty sure he redid uh jokers that show that they like they have to do something in public. It's like pranks on people in public. I'm not I'm not a big watch watcher on it, but I know what it is. Let's see what Meat Canyon how will Meat Canyon ruin this show for us? Or just Boy. Mer didn't shout enough racial slurs at the patrons of Central Park, making him tonight's biggest loser. Mer's the biggest loser, so we're gonna give him a bit of a challenge. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on, guys, what are you planning? <laughs> Bro. Go in there and rob the bank. Ah, <laughs> jeez. Uh, okay, fine. Bro. Oh my lord. <gasps> His eyeball. Oh, oh, bro. <laughs> okay, Mur, go up and tell that bait teller to put the money in the bag. Put the money in the bag! Let's go! Oh my gosh. Mur, be sure to tell the bait teller that he'll never see his family again if he does any funny business. L listen. Listen, mother. <laughs> listen, mother. Try anything funny and I'll kill you and your whole family. You hear me? <laughs> yes. Watch the profanity. Hey, See that woman with the bag over her head? Take her as a hostage. Hurry. Hurry, Murph. The cops are here. You gotta get out of there, pal. Come on, get up, get up! What Murph doesn't know is that we planted a hostage in the bank before we got here. Move, 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 go, go. Put your hands up. No one else needs to die. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Real people are dying. I forgot to tell you. How about you take off your hostage's mask? M Melissa? <laughs> Bro, this is not funny. Son, just put the gun down. No one else needs to die here today. Bro, that's your wife. I never had a choice in any of this. Pussy. I never wanted things to end this way. No, bro. It's just a show. I'm sorry, baby. It's just so sorry. a show. You have a choice. Just put the gun down. Do not do it. No. Execute your hostage, Mur. Don't do it. We can work through this. Please, lay down your firearm. Just shoot him do in the it. head. Don't oh, do it. Son, please. RP. No! No! GTA? Buddy is Trevor. Just because of the hairline. Bro. Bravery is reserved for those who risk everything for others. For strangers. The protection of what's good. We will cherish the memories we have with our loved ones. And their fight will not be in vain. Bro. Let no one survive. For the last one that we have today, our fourth one, it's going to be a very short one, as y'all see. Oh my God. The last animation is called Peppa Pig Finale RTX On. Now, with RTX, I think it's just with like the light realistic type of looking it's just gonna be messed up <laughs> 47 seconds of messed up peppa i don't want to die it's too late george his presence is already here we have to do something peppa the parents have already gone george <laughs> i don't want to die i don't want to die his warmth is already in your flesh, George. But I feel cold, Peppa. Peppa, please. Who who comes up with this? But I feel cold, Peppa. I don't kind of hurt my neck. Please, I'm scared. I don't. The offerings have failed. You not jump scaring me. To fade away.
that last one was definitely a weird one this selection was all okay okay it was okay y'all gotta definitely comment down below which one was your favorite one out of the four for number 11 of reacting to scary animation if y'all want me to do these weekly then y'all <laughs> i'll do them weekly i'll see how it is maybe two every two weeks every week I, I like doing these so i don't have any problem with doing a weekly you know what i'm saying i'm back in school i'm a junior now you know what i'm saying who can yeah. the upload schedule is kind of like weird with how like summer went and then school transitioning into school and then um i think i'm gonna make an update video soon but we're supposed to be moving soon so that'll that'll throw it off because you know i'm like I'm really dedicated to this YouTube stuff. Now, I'll make an update video for y'all soon. I'll give it a, a couple weeks. I love every single one of y'all. Make sure y'all share it to your, to, your, to your favorite cartoon character, actually. Yeah. <laughs> make them shout me out because you know they got the bands. I really don't know how that contributes with my success <laughs> in any type of way. But I love every single one of y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Do all of those good things. You know what I'm saying? I'll see y'all next video. Peace.